Hey everyone, Jay from Kill the Cast here with another Top 5 Friday. Today we're taking a look at my Top 5 Werewolf Movies. This list was actually a bit hard for me to make because I do love a lot of werewolf movies. Uh, before we get into it, I want to give an honorable mention to American Werewolf in London for boasting my favorite transformation scene out of any werewolf movie. I mean, just look at this. It's fucking beautiful. The effects in it are amazing. I just can't get over how good this thing looks, especially for the time period it was made. But... I wanted to highlight other less obvious choices in my list, so I didn't include it. So, after this ends, let's get right into it. Oh. Oh. I didn't mean to call you a meatloaf, Jack! Oh. 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 Number five, The Wolfman. We just reviewed this on our podcast where I watched it for the first time. Like I said on the show, this is my favorite of the Universal Monster movies so far. The Wolfman is responsible for a lot of modern werewolf tropes and pretty much invented the werewolf genre. Other movies have expanded upon what The Wolfman laid down, but we must never forget our roots. Number four, Cursed. Cursed is Wes Craven's meta-werewolf movie, and it's a lot of fun. It stars Christina Ricci and Jesse Eisenberg as siblings who are attacked by a creature. As the movie progresses, it's clear it was a werewolf attack. This movie has a lot of similarities to The Wolfman, but in the film's world, The Wolfman exists, so that makes for some fun dialogue at times. A good mix of comedy, old-school thriller, and classic werewolf, this movie is very entertaining and a fun watch. Number 3. Dog Soldiers. This movie is an independent, low-budget werewolf movie about a group of soldiers who have a run-in with a group of werewolves. It's the directorial debut of Neil Marshall, who also directed The Descent and Doomsday, and a couple episodes of Game of Thrones. For a debut and a low-budget movie, it's done really well. The acting is solid, the effects and are practical and awesome, and the writing is great. The only quality issue comes to the fact that the negatives are so damaged that every transfer of the film has a grainy old film effect to it. Not even Scream Factory could clean this up. Some feel it adds a bit of charm, but it's not on a purpose, so it can be a little distracting at times. Number 2. Ginger Snaps No, this movie isn't about cookies. It's a coming-of-age story wrapped around a classic tale of becoming a werewolf. The acting in this movie is phenomenal, and the mixing of coming-of-age and werewolf works surprisingly well, as the parallels that are drawn are played with in a really ingenious way. Another movie that uses practical effects well. It spawned a couple sequels, but nothing compares to the greatness of the first one. Number 1. Late Phases this movie is a bit of a hidden gem in my opinion. It's about a blind military vet who moves into a new community and discovers that one of his neighbors is a werewolf. Of course, no one believes him and his family thinks he is just old and lonely, but he knows better. What follows is a cat and mouse, or should I say wolf and man game, as the blind vet tries to figure out who the werewolf is and how to best fight it. Like all the movies on the list, amazing practical effects add to the entertainment value of this movie. I highly recommend it for anyone looking for a different style of werewolf movie. Well, that's it, guys. Another short video. Nice and quick, straight to the point. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, as always, check us out on Facebook. Like, subscribe, all that other bullshit that I ask you to do every single time. Make sure you check out Jerry's video and everyone else's video that participates in Top 5 Fridays will be in the description. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you again soon.